Hi gents. Let's learn how to size a pump for the standpipe and hose system. First we will see how to size for pump discharge. Parameters to be known are Class of fire hose cabinets Number of risers Procedure of calculation is as follows. For class 1 and class 3 systems, the minimum flow rate for hydraulically most remote riser shall be 500 GPM. The minimum flow rate for additional risers shall be 250 GPM per riser, the total not to exceed 1250 GPM. For class 2 systems, the minimum flow rate for hydraulically most remote riser shall be 100 GPM. Additional flow needs not to be added when more than one riser is provided. Example. A building of five floors is provided with six class 3 fire hose cabinet risers. Each riser is connected to one fire hose cabinet in each floor. The required discharge for the fire pump is 500 GPM required for the most remote riser. 250 GPM required for each riser of the other five risers so. Total required discharge equals 500 plus 1250 equals 1750 GPM. Since total not to exceed 1250 GPM, then pump discharge should be selected at 1250 GPM. We will move to size the pump head. Parameters to be known are Class of fire hose cabinets The height between the pump discharge and the highest fire hose cabinet Pipe material. Pipe horizontal and vertical length from the pump discharge to the most remote fire hose cabinet, each diameter separately should be measured. Valves and fittings equivalent length. Discharge flow. Procedure of calculation is as follows. The residual pressure at the outlet of the hydraulically most remote hose connection should be 100 psi for class 1 and 3, and 65 psi for class 2. From Table 8313 from NFPA 14, we can calculate the equivalent length of valves and fittings. This table should be used where Hazen Williams C factor is 120. For other values of C, the values in this table shall be multiplied by the factors indicated in Table 8322. Hydraulic calculations and pipe sizes for each standpipe shall be based on providing 250 GPM at the two hydraulically most remote hose connections on the standpipe, as per NFPA recommendation. Pipe friction losses shall be determined on the basis of the following Hazen Williams formula, where P is the frictional resistance in psi per foot of pipe, Q is the flow in GPM, C is the friction loss coefficient. D is the actual internal diameter of pipe in inches. Example. Calculate the head of a fire pump if the most remote and highest outlet is a fire hose cabinet class 1. The height of the cabinet is 20 meters from the pump discharge pipe level. Consider steel pipe of C value 120. The piping route from the pump to this most hydraulically remote unit is 60 meters of 6-inch diameter pipe with one gate valve, one check valve and 390 degrees elbows, the flow is 500 GPM, which is the required 250 at each of the two remote connections, and 4 meters of 6-inch diameter pipe with 190 degrees elbow of discharge, 250 GPM. Solution is as follows. Pump head equals static head plus residual pressure plus pressure losses. Static head equals 20 meters equals 29.4 psi. Residual pressure equals 100 psi, being class 1. Pressure losses. For the 6-inch diameter pipe with 500 GPM.
for the 6-inch diameter pipe with 250 GPM. Therefore, the total pump head equals 29.4 plus 100 plus 2.61 plus 0.07 equals 132 psi.